Praise the Lord. I do feel better today. <coughs> I'm still coughing a little bit, not like I was, okay? But the Lord has been dealing with me on the subject of the elect. You know, He is gathering and calling out His people and waking them up in these last days. He's saying, awake, 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 for the time is now at hand. And as I was beginning to read and study about this subject that He has challenged me to search and uh, things, I'm finding out things that I had never thought of and seen before. And being a watchman on the wall, all the watchmen on the wall, the true watchmen of the, on the wall that has been called out by him to stand and proclaim his word need to wake up now I don't know how many parts this may be on this and I don't know what Tina may say because she's studying it too God's got her into it very deep <clears throat> she was going to try to be here today with me I mean on the phone but she had to take care of some business so I'm going to lay a foundation for you to think about so right now father in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus Christ bless this word that you are giving that you are calling out people to wake up to come out of their safety zones, out of their comfort zones. Uh, stir the nest, Father, as the great eagle is teaching her babies to fly. The one thing she does is she stirs the nest up. And I know this is what you are doing now. You are stirring the nest up. Getting us out of the comfort zone. Ruffling the feathers and bringing the sticks to, to job and say, Okay, wake up. Wake up. It's time not to be in your comfort zone. It's not time to cuddle up and sleep away your life but it's time to wake up I know this is what you calling us out father let your let your words penetrate to the uttermost part of our heart in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus Christ I see that vision quite often of, of the eagle taking her tylons and, you know, digging up the nest, you know, ruffling it around. And when you do, the feathers that was the cushion are, are moved and, and there are little sticks sticking up here and there. So when the flagellum tries to conquer back down and go to sleep it stick pokes them and says no it's time to wake up spread your wings lift yourself up into the atmosphere and begin to fly now I know there be some of us at times that will <clears throat> go out and they'll start to flap their wings but yet they don't have the strength yet and they'll begin to fall and that's why when the mighty eagle swoops in before they hit the ground and die 
swoops in and they land upon the back of Yeshua, the great eagle, and flies back up, puts them back into the nest. Until they learn to fly on their own. Okay? And this is a word that he gave me, and I was, wrote it down the other day. We have a commandment from the Father on how we, the elect, that has been called out and chosen out of them that has been called to the great assembly of his elect warriors. And as that word was coming to me, I went, wow. We are right now being called out to that great assembly of his elect warriors. You have to understand <clears throat> that we are so often think one thing and then think another because of what people may say. We get caught up in to things around us of this world when we should not. For the Father has calling his elect out and setting them apart. And the elect is his army, his warriors. See, there has always been an army. Let's go back to Exodus. Okay, Exodus 6. And 27. It says, These are that Aaron and Moses, to whom the Lord said, Bring out the children of Israel from the land of Egypt according to their armies. You see, children of Israel was God's army. Let's go over to the 7 and 4. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you that I have laid out my hand upon Egypt and bringeth forth my mine armies and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt be great, by great judgment. So he called out Israel. He called her out. That great army. And there is still an army, an elect, that is being called out, being called out from the body to stand and fight. This is another thing he told me to look up. Believe it or not, he had me to go and look up black ops. You know, we hear a lot about black ops. Unless you've been in, in the military, unless you really study, there's a lot of things that I didn't even realize about black ops. And I studied, I, I was in ROTC, and so I studied history, but yet it didn't dawn on me. And to understand the full gravity of the black ops and he was showing me how the black ops of the military the special forces is likened to the elect that special army that special group that he's called out from the body to fight Let's read it. 
is a covert covert operation by a government a government agency or a military agency or God himself a covert type of operation a special forces of elect that God is calling out this can include activities by private companies or groups typically involving activities that are highly clandestine mm. this is important highly clandestine and offers outside operates outside of standard military intelligence protocol the key function are that it is clandestine understand it's clandestine it's going in to do something that is clandestine it has a negative overtone and it is not attribute to the organization carrying it out the main difference between a black ops and one that is merely clandestine is that a black ops involves a significant degree of deception to conceal who is behind it or to make it operate that seems other entities is responsible and that's what some people call false flag the term is primarily used for covert or clandestine super intelligence entrance into structures to obtain information from human intelligent operations such as operations are known to have been carried out by FBI the Central Intelligence Agency uh, Mossad or M16 and the intelligence service of other nations they are called special operations a government active that is hidden or secret of which that details and sometimes even the total are hidden from the public or body of Christ and from most con uh, congressional oversights <clears throat> let me explain a little bit what God has been showing me on this elect this sort of like black ops that he's setting out the this called out chosen group they are trained and that means Bible reading much prayer and fasting in your training to be able to go behind the enemy's lines and receive intelligence that will be sufficient in helping the body of Christ to operate spiritually in a defensive manner and to to be able to march forward and claiming victory as they go forward God is calling out a group that will go where the rest cannot go they go behind the lines into the enemy's camp and I'm talking about spiritually I'm not talking about you know I'm, I'm gonna put on 
my uniform and go over there to Russia and no I'm talking about things and it will be in the teaching what I'm talking about but you will find it in Ephesians especially that we are going to be called out to do a spiritual warfare gaining entrance into the very spiritual forces of the dark forces to take out enemies of the hierarchy of the world of Satan and you go wow what are you talking about let me let me go on I want to read this about the US Navy SEALs they undergo and are forged by some of the most intensive special forces selection I mean they they have to go through a lot to get into the special forces in, in training and taking tests and training of any elect military now notice that word elect military professionals in the world they are a special breed of warrior a special breed of warrior hmm what did God tell me to say over here? Call to the great assembly of his elect warriors. That's why he led me to this, see this. They are a special breed of warrior with missions capable in any environment. Any environment. Now, we're talking about spiritual realm, spiritual warfare, okay? Let's get out of the physical, okay? This is not physical. This is spiritual. Silently, under cover of darkness, you know, we're going into the dark realm in this spiritual warfare. They are trained with a relentless commitment to individually imit I N I T I A T I V E intervene personal responsibility and mission accomplished they are trained to execute and Uh, unified fl flawlessly execution trained to achieve the same operation excellence in zero tolerance God has t zero tolerance for the special forces that he has called out a tolerance for error because when we are called to go into that spiritual war spiritual warfare into the darkest places to execute God's wishes into the darkest places into the darkest realms of Satan can't fail world of excellent military we can't fail there's the, the world we are going to be called and we are training up to be an excellent elect elect we are training to be that elect military operations using the flawless execution process we are operating under the flawless execution process using all tools necessary um, phones computers 
uh, prayer, fasting, becoming in total obedience, for using all tools necessary for the operation. Let's go over to Ephesians. Let's find out what some of those tools are. Okay. Ephesians. This is very important. Very important, people. Listen up. In Ephesians 6, beginning with verse 10. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. Be strong. That's what we're called to do. That's part of, of this operation. In the Lord and in the power of His might, put on the whole armor of God. We have to, we have to put on the whole armor. That's part of this training that we're going through right now to become part of this elect army. This being being trained as this elect, that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Because, see, we're going to go tread on his ground. We are. Because it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual witnesses in high places. That's why we're being trained, that we can go into, into those places. It says up here, they are a special breed of warriors with missions capable in any environment. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and have done all to stand. When we go into these missions, into these places, we need the full armor of God on. We always need it on. Stand therefore, having your loins girded about with truth. Okay, what it says. With all, use all tools necessary for the operation. Okay. We need to gird our loins with truth. Having the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shod with the purpose of the gospel of peace. This is part of our tools. Above all, take the shield of faith. Another tool. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Now when we are called and we are going into these battles... And when we are going and called into mission to go behind the lines of the dark ones, we need to be able to defend ourselves. And that is what the shield is. To cast off those darts that will be thrown at us. You think they're going to lay over there and go, oh, well, there's another one of God's elect army coming in. That's another one of them coming in here to spy out our land. Oh, well, we're just going to lay here and let it happen. No, they're going to fight back. I mean, come on. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which the Lord, which is the word of God. The word of God. This is the Bible. Hey, you guys that says this is a mark of the beast. Excuse me. When you go into that place to fight. When you go in. When you go in. Because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. But against principalities. And against powers, against the rulers of the dark of the world, against the spiritual weakness on high places. When we go in, if we ain't got this word written in our heart and upon us, 
then we're going to be in trouble. Praying always, that's another one of the tools, praying always with all prayers and supplements in the Spirit, and watch thereunto with all preservance and supplement for all the saints. See, we're that elect army that is being called out, and we are uh, what to be in prayer and supplement in spirit and watch there unto with all preservance and specialists for all the saints. You know that body that's out there that we are responsible for, and for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of God for which I am an ambassador we too are ambassadors in the bonds that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak let's go on I've given you what the tools that God has prepared for us and we need to take no one leaves what leaves no one leaves this battle this this uh, when you are sent out to do this in the spiritual realm not one of us because there will be groups of us because we have to agree if two or three are are gathered together and agree in his name whether they are in one place but if we agree in yeshua hamashiach's name then then we don't have to wonder. We don't have to leave wondering if their teams, these teams, this group that the God has called out, efforts were successful. We don't have to leave the battle. When, it, when it's over with, we don't have to leave that Pacific battle because there's battles on top of battles. I mean, you know, until the last battle. But we don't have to wonder if their teams, and see, he calls us out in teams to attack in different spots in this battle. No one leaves wondering if their team's effect were successful. The results, the results are immediately and overwhelming. We need to learn this because when we are called to go into a Pacific battle in the spiritual realm, it, the effects of it for the whole body, for the world even, and the spiritual realm will be, what will it say? It says, it's going to be... It, they will be immediately and overwhelming. Even the world will know. The physical world. When these battles are taken on, when we walk away from that Pacific battle we're called into in the spiritual realm, we will know it is successful and it will be immediately and the results will vibrate from the physical world throughout the spiritual realm period we need to understand this let's go to Matthew 24 and 24 24 24 okay for there shall rise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders see Satan has his own elite army his own elite that he's called out from mankind and they are called the false Christ the false prophets 
And you know, even some of these shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. If it was possible. But you know why it's not possible? Because we are being trained right now. We are putting on that shield. We are putting on God's armor. We are putting it on now. Let's see Mark 13 and 22. And I'm going to end it there. And I will begin again in another video later on. I want you to soak this in first. Because I have, oh, Lordy, I have much, 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 you know. Um, let's go to um, Mark 13. Okay, get my mind back where it was. 13 and 22. Says again, For a false Christ, false prophets shall rise, and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. But take ye heed. Behold, I have foretold you all things. So, Christ is saying, I have foretold you all things. So, so you don't have to, have to get uh, excited. You don't have to be fearful. You don't have to get... You know, like, I, I am afraid, you know, all of this evil stuff is coming. Oh, my goodness, what am I going to do? Stop it. Stop it. We are not to be afraid. For he is our covering. He is our ark that we come into. He is our covering. And we need to realize this. That our Father has prepared the ark for us, which is Jesus Christ, Yeshua, which is also our commander-in-chief. Hmm. Okay? He is our commander-in-chief. He is the leader. Let me see. Uh, let's go to Second Timothy 2 and 34, and I will end right here. Okay? But Second Timothy... Two okay in twenty four is it twenty? Oh no, <laughs> Second Timothy two three and four. Oh, okay, maybe I need to read it right. Two, three, and four. Okay? This. Therefore, endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that wordeth in W A R R E T H intrigueth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. We are being called. We are being chosen. The elect is being chosen to become soldiers of Christ, of Jesus Christ, to do His will. And there is a group of us, the very, very elect, that is being called out, set up, and brought forth in these last days, that we will be that special forces of God, of Jesus Christ. We will go into places that no man wants to go, and that the body of of Christ even fears to go. But he calls us out, prepares us, and sets us aside and puts us apart. Sets us aside and puts us apart to be a chosen elect, a special ops.
We need to understand. We need to understand who we truly are. We often, often, often run. Again, I must go to 1 Corinthians 9. Let me begin at 24. Know ye not that thy which run in a race, run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that you may obtain. And every man that strives for the ministry is triumphed in all things, tempted in all things. Now, they do it to obtain a credible crown, but we, but we, an incredible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that breathes, beateth the air. But I keep under my body, and bring it into submission, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. We are in this. We are running, a, a, we are an elect army called out and chosen to run in this race, to go into places that we can go in and tear down strongholds of Satan. That we can go in and tear down those strongholds that keep the body of Christ in a grip that will not permit it to move forward or backwards. We are to go in a spiritual realm. We, the elect, the army of Jesus Christ, of Yeshua, are to go in and tear down those high, dark places that they will no longer have power and authority over the body, that the body can move forward in the spiritual realm that God has called it to move. Father, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, I plead, I plead the blood over this video, that it will come to everybody that is called out and chosen and set apart for your mission to go into those places, those dark and high places that Satan has set up, and to cast them down, to tear them apart, that the kingdom of God can be made whole in the body of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen and Amen and Amen. Praise be.